Hi, I'm Paula with Van Vita Travels and this is Vida. I thought Vida was a perfect name for her because Vida means life in so many different languages and not only is it an ambulance that has saved lives, but I feel like in so many ways that it's saving mine. Okay, so this is at the front of the box. Um, this takes me straight into the cab. And that was something that was really important when I was looking to purchase a vehicle. Um, being a single female on the road, I wanted to do everything that I could to be safe. This is my air conditioning system. And then this stuff, there was a couple ways I've seen it done before. I've seen people with refrigerators here, they could access from outside. But because I'm a girl <laughs> and I didn't know what I needed for clothes, I turned this into a closet. So, and I have like a ridiculous amount of room and I overpacked, you know, being Canadian, coming from the cold, I thought maybe I'd need a little more stuff than I really needed. Um, all the top cabinets are really nice because we have the sliding doors and we can lift it. And because this is already built in, it's so easy. All I did was paint this black. Someday I might replace this and I just put some doorknobs on it. It was kind of fun. And then this is kind of like the beginning of my bathroom section. So in here, um, it is a locking cabinet, but I don't lock it. I just have the storage stuff I don't use much, but might need like band-aids. <laughs> um, and I took, there was a strip right across here. I took it off because there's so much extra space in the ambulance in behind all the cabinets. And I just put baskets here to store some more stuff. And then I decided to put this in here. And this is again, coming from minus 47 Celsius. This is full of all my winter toques and mitts, wet wipes. <laughs> and I have um, a little 12 volt shower head. So I use that system in here, which when I bought this, none of this was usable. It had a really low counter, another shelf up here, but on the other side, was all of the ambulance electrical, which I needed none of. And it was a big, huge panel. We pulled out 50 to 100 pounds of wire. So I use this for my bathroom. Um, and I have a composting toilet with the fan. The fan makes all the difference in the world. And I'm using peat moss. Do not use kitty litter. That is the most terrible stuff I've ever used in here. Coming across the border, I didn't know what I could take. So, I did that, but I've changed it now. But some friends in Ehrenberg when I first got here actually rebuilt this, wired in the fan, did all the venting, so that was great. And then my shower, I just hang up here. All of this is just coreplast, so it's super light, really inexpensive. Um, but we did put a a, a doorknob and a handle on the inside because that was an exterior cabinet you couldn't get in and out so we built that on there well van life definitely isn't something that I see at home where I live it gets extremely cold extremely cold um, but I was I never really watched YouTube for a long time and then it was like over Christmas holidays my son was gone with the rest of his family and I came across a van life channel and I binge watched <laughs> through the whole holiday season it was awesome I was like this is cool I could do this and because I'm a single parent my son was going to be moving away from home graduating and everything and I knew I was going to have a really really hard time empty nesting um, so I don't know where I got the courage from. My family is like, we're so surprised you didn't justify yourself out of it because that's what we always do. But I decided I was going to get it. My brother helped push me to do it and not chicken out. So we looked at a couple vehicles and we were, we were driving to go see one and I was checking on my phone and I was like, well, there's an ambulance here. And he's like, well, let's check it out. So we, we got a hold of the guy, we went and checked it out. He was in his early 20s and he had the same plan, build it out. Unfortunately, his plans changed a bit. His dad didn't want it in the driveway anymore. Um, 
So I was gonna buy it right then and there, but he kind of come up with excuses and hemmed and hawed. So I went back home, I lived four hours away, and I just kept in contact with him over the next month because I know he he had it listed, but he really did not want to sell it. He didn't want to give up on that dream as well. So I said, I promise I'm going to do everything you wished you did. So this is my kitchen area and I have changed this several times. Um, I took out a shelf up here and the counters were really low, but I'm 5'8", so I really wanted to put them at a regular height. So initially I had a dresser in here and that kept sticking and it really wasn't effective. And then I was looking in my garage and I was like, why don't I put my workbench in here? Um, so yeah, so I took the pegboard out, lowered this, they're still connected. So I lowered this, all these drawers, are really nice actually they don't slide open when I'm driving it's very convenient um, a friend of mine lowered this shelf so I could fit my little microwave in which is only um, 700 watts I wanted to make sure I used something that was really low power I put a little sink in I originally had a foot pump a self priming foot pump that got damaged um, so I bought another 12 volt pump that I was going to put in but because it was so cold at home I thought I would wait and in the meantime, probably the easiest thing I've ever done was just bought this um, 12 volt chargeable little water pump that just goes straight into my water underneath and it's super easy and when it's cold I can just take it out. I don't have to winterize anything. I don't have to worry about any of that. So yeah, there's the sink with a little cover. Um, decided that I wanted, I wanted a table in here but I didn't want to take up the room because I really like this layout. I feel like I have a lot of room. So all we did was put this on here and I simply put just a little leg in there. I could put struts in, but it's really not necessary. And so I can sit and do all my stuff on here, like with my computer or when I'm doing my live streams and it's just extra counter space. This is the biggest thing I've ever driven. I stopped an hour in and my legs were like jello. I was so nervous. I've never had a diesel. I've never had something so big. It was winter. Um, yeah, it kind of freaked me out. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do? But you just have to have a little bit of faith in yourself and just keep pushing a bit. And now I drove 3000 kilometers to get here not even realizing most of it's going to be through mountains and I'm a prairie girl and I did it and I am so proud of myself for doing it even the build I mean you only have a certain budget you only have certain tools but you find a way to make it work I think if I really truly changed anything it would be I wished I really believed in myself first when I started this project I second guessed myself a lot and didn't do the first build the way I wanted. I was afraid to cut in the roof. I was afraid to do the wiring. And then I'm like, you know what? I can learn this. One of the perks about the ambulance was the cabinetry in here. And this is so solid. I could probably hang off it without worrying. So in here, I mean, cause I have so much extra room. There's so much room in here. I couldn't fill everything. So I just, lined up all my hats in here this whole thing is like a library with used books the ambulance is really great especially being canadian because it was already insulated but i found it wasn't insulated as well as it could be so i added tons of insulation on the roof and all around the sides and then i just bought a panel board to put up there i was like this is easier it's affordable i think a sheet like this is like 60 dollars so, I mean, it had the look that I wanted and I could actually install this myself without having a bunch of tools. <laughs> so it worked really, really well for me. So under here is my entire electrical system. So I have my batteries, I have my 3000 watt inverter, and then I have a 12 volt bus bar in there. When I look through here, I, when the inverter is on, I can see what I'm sitting at for um, how much power I'm using but I can also see it off of here as well um, 
I've been out in the cold before and that really drains the batteries quickly. So when I'm only using my 12 volt power, I don't have any alarms going off to tell me that they're low. So this I think was, well, this was definitely under $20 and it's probably my favorite thing that I bought to make sure that everything is running well. Um, I do have shore power on the outside and that's connected to this outlet. I put this fan in and this one isn't your normal size. It's not the 14 by 14, it's a 12 by 12. But the bracing across the top wasn't the same distance when I got to the back. So this fit in perfectly. And so I just wired the light, which I really like. The fan, I wished I'd saved up for. I wished I saved up for a really good fan. This has one speed in or out, but it hardly moves at all. Like it really doesn't move much air. So definitely, if I'm gonna change something, it's gonna be a much better fan. I built my bed to the same height as this because I kind of wanted it all to match, which gave me a lot less room underneath. So when I put my 12 volt fridge underneath, I had to find the lowest thing I could to slide it in and out. So this was easy. I didn't have to build anything. <laughs> it's light, it works. And then I just keep my little fridge, it's 18 liters plugged in underneath my bed and that fits great. I have a little less room than you would think under here for one spot just because where I live is so incredibly cold <laughs> that I didn't want a lot of the small wiring going underneath the ambulance so we put them under here but I've got a, a pipe that goes underneath that all the wires are fed through so that I can't bump it and break it or it gets cold it kind of gets fragile. I don't have to worry about any of those issues that way. And then on this side, I just have like my laundry basket and stuff like that. The back half is where the water stores and I access that from outside. So this I really like too. <laughs> Again, the top ones all slide and have these little hinges. So because the ambulance had so many shelves, I could just put them anywhere I wanted. So this was like the perfect height for three rows of food. They all have the, the, the lip on the shelf, so nothing falls out at all. Yeah, and I didn't have to do anything. It just came like that, so it's exciting. And then I just have things like I have a tire inflator. I have my battery charger maintainer and stuff like that. I have all my dishes in here. And the bed is great. I'm 5'8", and when I lay down with my head right against the wall and my feet straight up here. I fit perfectly, but nobody sleeps like that. So <laughs> I keep my extra blankets down here and I just tuck my feet in there. <laughs> So my first impression when I started watching the van life videos <laughs> maybe wasn't the best. I'm not going to say which channel I first came across, but it was like the whole Instagram sort of version. It really didn't look like this person probably lived in there, but the idea of it was great. So then I just kept looking up more and more and more and I really found the variety that I found on YouTube was really good because when you start seeing all these fancy builds, you think you can't do it. You think you know, I'm going to look like I'm some popper out there. Uh, but people are real. This is their lives. This is their home. And you don't need all that superficial stuff. Even starting this, I'm already downsizing stuff in my home. Like I have five bedrooms and two bathrooms and I am all alone in there. I'm probably the most lonely person in the whole world. And the material stuff is not bringing me any joy whatsoever. This is bringing me joy. So I actually have a YouTube channel. I kind of consider it my little legacy for future generations to teach them how to push through fear and see all the rewards to it. Actually, my younger brother really encouraged me to start recording the conversion and, and posting it so that I had it. And through that, I started doing live streams and I have met the most amazing community of people. So my channel is Van Vita Travels. Um, I interview a lot of YouTube van life creators and 
I probably learned the very most from all of them in this process. So if you want to like and follow, definitely check out Van Vita Travels. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. My email is vanvitatravels at gmail.com. But if you ever want to talk and communicate with me, just message me through Messenger on Facebook.